Now, if you're like me, you have great ideas at the most inopportune times. Whether you're driving kids in the shower or sitting in the sauna, one of my favorites, it's hard to remember those great ideas by the time you actually get to your computer or get to the office. Well, thanks to a little bit of AI, we can save those ideas right when they happen and have them prepared for us. To do that, we're going to use a recipe using the following tools. First, we're going to use your voice memo tool. So if you're on an Apple device or an Android device, you can just record it natively on your phone. Secondly, we're gonna use Whisper from OpenAI that's going to transcribe that voice into text. Third, we'll use ChatGPT, which will take that text and turn it into an outline, a blog post, a song, whatever you might want to use that idea for. And fourth and finally, we're going to send that text, that outline to a blogging platform, Google Docs, somewhere where you can work on it. Now, connecting all of these tools in this recipe is Zapier. So Zapier is the automation that'll make all of this happen for you. So whether you're a content creator or just someone trying to remember things, this is gonna be a perfect recipe for you. So let's dive in and show you how to use it. So the first thing you're going to need is a Zapier account. Now this is going to help us with a lot of our recipes to automate things. So I highly recommend getting on Zapier and, and purchasing the kind of the lowest paid plan. Now on Zapier, you can create the steps that'll automate all of the actions once you get the voice memo. So here you can see on the notes, the four steps that we're gonna have on Zapier, you can see that the first thing we're gonna do is send that audio to a Zapier email. That'll kick off the transcription. And then we'll go into the conversation in ChatGPT to bring that text into life. And finally, we'll send that text to wherever we need it to go. So let's go ahead and go to the first step. You're gonna use your voice memo app on your phone. You can see here's an example of my phone. I just click the red button and record an idea. Usually you don't need to have long ideas. I think it's better to have short bursts and you can send all of those, right? And have those outlined. So once you record it, you just click the share button on your voice memo app and you're gonna click email, right? So we're gonna click share and email. And with Zapier, you're going to get an email that you send this to. So you just save it in your address book. I call mine Zapier transcripts, as you can see here. And then when I send that file, everything is going to happen automatically from there on. So here's a look at the Zapier plans. You can get the starter plan for 20 bucks a month. That's gonna be plenty to do a little bit of AI for this, plus a lot of the other things that we explore on 5-Minute AI. Now, the first step when you get into Zapier is to set up that email that we're gonna send the voice memo to. So you're gonna use the app called Email by Zapier, which you can see right here, and you're gonna choose a new inbound email. Now, your email address is gonna be down here on the bottom. So you're gonna copy that. Make sure to add it, add it to your address book. That'll be the same email every time. So you just wanna put that somewhere that you can easily access it. Now, once that email is set up, we're gonna automatically go to step two, which is using OpenAI. Now, OpenAI is gonna use the app called GPT-3 plus the transcript here, which you can see on these steps right here. Now, to, to be able to use this step, we are gonna to have to create an OpenAI account. So as you can see, when you click on the OpenAI step, it'll say connect a new account, and you can go ahead and click on that button, which is right here. Now, once you connect that account, it is gonna have you put in your API key. So if you're creating a brand new account, you don't have an OpenAI account, you can go ahead and, and set that up. If you already have one, you're just gonna copy that key in. So let me show you what it looks like to set up an OpenAI account. You can go to platform.openai.com and create your account. You can do it with Google or with an email address. And once you're in, you'll see something like this. So what OpenAI does is they actually give you some credits for free. And after you use it more, you start paying for credit usage. What's nice is this is a really incredibly low cost. What I found is that my transcriptions cost less than one penny per transcription. So it's not gonna break the bank by any means. You can actually set a maximum amount per month uh, under the billing section, which is over here. And you can kind of watch your usage over, over the time. So you can kind of see what's, what's needed. If you already have an account, you can find your API keys here. So now that you have your OpenAI account and know where the API key is, we can go back to Zapier to start building our recipe. Click on that first box and you'll see all the options that you get from that email. So you can see here that we could do the text from the email, the subject, et cetera. We're gonna look for attachment, the one that says exists but not shown. Once you find that attachment one, you can click on that. Just search the word attachment to find it. And that's gonna be all you need to do. So what it's going to do is pull the attachment from step one in the email, bring that into Whisper to transcribe it. And then we're gonna go ahead to step three, which is the conversation in ChatGPT. So you're gonna find the ChatGPT and you're gonna connect it and do conversation. Now you're going to again need to find the right data source. So where are we gonna pull this information from? And we're gonna do two different things. First, we have a prompt step. So here we're gonna say, write a blog outline in HTML 
based on this transcript. So notice a couple of things. We're gonna use HTML here, because I'm gonna put it into a blog. So I want that to actually be read with formatting, with bullets, et cetera. You can decide what type of message you're doing. I'm doing a blog, but you could also do song lyrics. You could do recipes. You could do to-do lists, right? So whatever kind of structure you're trying to create, you can say in the prompt what you want it to be. Lastly, we're going to go after the content. So the content is from that step two. That's gonna be the transcription that we created. And so we're gonna pull the right piece of information in. So I'm asking my tool to write a blog in HTML based on this transcript, and the transcript is coming from step two. So here we can see the action and where everything lives. You can see under step two, content's the only option, so it's gonna be pretty easy for us to do. And then we can give instructions, so kind of tips for what we're looking for. In this case, I'm telling them that the, I want the outline to come out from a blogging assistant that's fun, accessible, and it's a, for a blog focused on education and technology. So depending on what you're doing, you can give the assistant instructions. Maybe you want it written in a very professional way. You want it in a short version. You want it just in bullets. You want it in paragraph form. You tell it exactly the output that you want, and it'll do that. I use the username, Scott, so it'll talk to me, and then I can refer to it as an assistant. Now, once we've created that, we just have to decide where to send it. So you can send your information to a lot of different places. I use Ghost as the blogging platform for ed3.gg. So here you can see I'm going to create a post. We can do the same thing on Medium, same thing uh, with Google Docs. So you could send it to a Google Doc and then work on it there. So here's the output. Once we've sent the, the voice memo to the email, it'll go through all of those steps. And at the very end, I have a blog draft. Now, I, whenever I sit down at my desk, I can edit this draft. I can see the ideas that came from the shower, from the bedtime, bedside table, or from the sauna, and I'm ready to write. So I captured this idea. I was able to turn it into something usable without having to work too hard. That's the power of a little bit of AI. Now, there's a lot of ways to make these things happen. So if you have other recipes for doing something like this, make sure to add them in the comments. And if you have ideas for other ways that you might want us to explore how to use AI, it could be questions that you're looking for answers to, add those in the comments. We'll make our next video based on your feedback, and we look forward to hearing what you think.